Take Pause has been made possible by support from the following Community Foundation of Broward funds. And by Broward County Animal Care and Adoption, where you can adopt a new best friend for life. Do you have the desire to work with pets like this pup, say, professionally? Well, there are loving, caring people who do every day. There are volunteers, trainers, veterinarians, and all kinds of folks working in many different capacities. This is also true when you bring your pet to the vet. Of course, your veterinarian needs schooling and experience, but so do the people working alongside your vet. Many of these animal lovers are veterinary technicians, and they play a vital role in helping maintain your pet's optimal health. So, where do these folks get all their specialized training from? Well, specialized programs, of course. If you want to succeed as a veterinary technician, you need to have a whole combination of skills. You need to be absolutely in love with the animal, so it's a passion. The career must be a passion, and also you need to be well trained in order to manage not only the pets, but the pet owners. So what we look for? We look for a passionate person. We look for somebody that has common sense that likes to protect the animals and look for the well-being, not only the animal, but also the owner. So if you want to succeed with that, go for it. Veterinary technicians, they're multitasking nurses. They can run you know, from the front office to the back rooms, specialty rooms like surgery. They can do radiology, laboratories. So they have you know, an endless list of things to do and uh, they're the right hand of the vet. They're the eyes, they're the hands, they're everything from, you know, you can name it for the vet. So there's many things that they can do, not only working in an animal or clinic, uh, hospital, but uh, they can work with the government in different, you know, areas. They can work for the public. So it's, the list is, you know, endless. There's many things that they can do. Here at Sanford Brown, with our veterinary technology program, uh, we put the students through academics. Um, they have to come to class. Uh, they're very intensive, actually, classes. The students come for five hours, and uh, they do academics with a combination of skills. They basically practice everything that they learn in the classroom. So it's a combination of academics with hands-on, and they're trained for, uh, you know, all the skills in the veterinary field. Not only for small animals like cats and dogs, but also for bovines, equines, like horses and cows. Uh, we try to, you know, put them with sheep, uh, fish, all kind of animals, you know, that are in the animal industry. And they meet face to face with the best of the best of the experts in veterinary medicine. So it's a combination of all the skills with theory. That's what they do basically. Here at Sanford Brown, we try to prepare as much as we can our students. So when they go in the real practice, they're ready for it. So we ask the students to be well versed not only in the academic part, like knowing about pharmacology, anesthesiology, they need to do phlebotomy, which you know it means to get the correct you know, blood, how to do it in the animal. Uh, they also need to know how to restrain the animals properly. That prevents you know, a lot of accidents in veterinary practice. Uh, also, we ask the students to perfect their skills in the laboratory managing K9 
chemistry machines, CBCs, how to do blood smears, you name it. Also, they need to learn how to work with the public, with the pet owner, because you know customer service is extremely important. In veterinary medicine, we not only have to deal with the animal, but also with the person behind the animal. So they need to know about office management, they need to know about client relationships, they need to know everything behind the hospital. We have different kind of students here. We have students that are already working in the field, so they're pretty skilled with the veterinary technology field, but they're also students that have no idea how to hold an animal. So they need to start since the beginning regardless. They need to start with the non-core classes like math, they need to see biology, chemistry, critical thinking, uh, philosophy, and little by little we start introduce them into the veterinary nursing skills and later on they see the high core classes that are like anesthesia, surgery, um, and also radiology. So we introduce them, you know, little by little without scaring them off. So here at Sanford Brown, we are very proud of our students and also our program. We uh, are proud also of our instructors and all the material that we can offer to the students and at the end, help the students to succeed. If you'd like to help support Take Pause through sponsorship or by making a donation, call 754-321-1000 or go to beacon.tv.